with Donald Trump tonight. All right, we'll see you a bit later, John. Thank you. Our entire political team right here tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern, in prime time. A lot ahead tonight. In the meantime, we move on to the other news this evening and major disruptions for Southwest Airlines tonight. Ground stops across the country. These Southwest planes parked at the gate of LAX in Los Angeles. Thousands of frustrated passengers now stranded coast to coast. And ABC's Philip Mennon is at LAX tonight. Tonight, hundreds of Southwest planes all over the country grounded. Southwest says the problem is an outage affecting multiple technology systems and it caused a ground stop at multiple airports. Hey, uh, Southwest, you got all these people sitting here waiting on you guys to fix your little outage. The pictures now coming in. Planes parked at LAX. I just need to look enough times that I can get longer and longer. <laughs> Long lines in Baltimore. And from Dallas Love Field to San Francisco, flights going nowhere. Passengers airing their frustration on social media. These passengers tweeting they've been delayed for 13 hours. David, here at LAX, Southwest says the ground stop has been lifted, but as you can see, there are still long delays and long lines, and Southwest can't tell us exactly when things will get completely back to normal. David? All right, Philip, a messy night ahead. Thanks to you, and this travel nightmare comes as dangerous heat now moves in across much of the country tonight. In the west, the heat is already fueling wildfires, this one in Utah, destroying nearly a dozen homes. Meteorologist Rob Marciano is tracking the oppressive and dangerous heat moving in. Rob? David, late July is typically the warmest time of year, but this is extraordinary heat and humidity. A huge ridge of high pressure is just baking the central U.S. We have heat advisories and warnings up through at least Friday. With humidity, it's going to feel like over 110 degrees across the northern plains, potentially 116 or 118 in Minneapolis. The heat then moves to the east this week, and actual high temperatures in the mid-90s in New York and near or over 100 degrees in D.C., going to be a long stretch of uncomfortable, unhealthy, and for some, unsafe levels of heat. David, Rob Marciano with us again tonight. Rob, thank you.